Hey guys, this is Dan from Ledger Sport. How are you doing today? So today I'm going to show you how to migrate your accounts from your Nano S to a new Nano S Plus. So just so you know, the Nano S Plus is Ledger's new device. It is basically a Nano X without the Bluetooth and the battery, but it has the exact same uh, storage capacity as the Nano X Plus. It's a great device. I'm very excited about it. But now what I'm wondering is, hey, how do I migrate my account from my Nano S to my Nano S Plus, right? So this is what I'm going, I'm going to show you today. Just so you know, this demonstration is about migrating funds from a Nano S to a Nano S Plus. However, if you are migrating from a Nano X to a Nano S Plus, the steps are exactly the same, okay? Um, so as you can see here, I've got my Nano S here, it's unlocked, and I've got my Nano S Plus here, which is not powered on yet. And um, there are some accounts that show on the screen here. I've got a Polygon account, an Ether account, a Bitcoin account, a, a Solana account. Those accounts are secured by my Nano S. Now, my Nano S is also seeded with this recovery phrase, right? And so the recovery phrase basically contains the private keys that control spending from the accounts that I just described. So, the most important thing here is my recovery phrase because I'm going to be able to migrate my funds from my Nano S to my Nano S Plus using my recovery phrase. It's really, really, really easy. I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just um, put my Nano S to the side. I don't need it. The only thing I need is my recovery phrase. So I'm going to put it to the side and I'm going to power on my Nano S Plus. Up. Okay, so the ledger logo appears and now it shows the welcome screen. Okay, just so you know, a new device will show you the welcome screen and nothing else. If when you're in the process of powering the device for the first time, it shows you anything but the ledger logo followed by the welcome screen, then there might be an issue with the device. Uh, pay particular attention uh, if the device shows you, ask you for your PIN. In this case, it might be because the device has been compromised. So you want to be very, very careful. The device should show the ledger logo and the welcome screen. I'll show you one more time. Just up. So ledger logo, welcome screen. This is what a new device looks like. So I know it's safe to use. Cool. So I'm going to scroll through those menus here. Um, Okay, start Ledger Live. So I've got Ledger Live installed already. So set up as a new device. I don't want that, okay? Because if I click this, this will create a new recovery phrase, which I don't need. I already have a recovery phrase. What I want is to put this recovery phrase into my Nano S Plus device, okay? So I'm going to select instead, restore from recovery phrase. Okay, now I'm going to choose a pin with four to six digits. So in my case, I'm going to uh, choose a four digit pin, but for you guys at home, I suggest a eight digit pin It's just more secure. So because I want easy access to my device, so a four digit pin is okay for me. Then I'm going to confirm the pin up. Here we go. And boom. Okay. Now it says enter your recovery phrase. Okay, so I'm going to click this. Select the number of words written on your recovery sheet. So there are 24 words on my recovery sheet. So this is what I'm going to select, 24 words. Okay, and here I need to enter the first word. So let me see, the first word is December. Okay, D, E, C, so here is going to prompt me with a few options. Uh, so yeah, I want December and then the number two is thunder. Okay. So thunder T H U. So now I've got a few options, thumb thunder. Okay. So I want thunder. If for example, you make a mistake here, you can always clear the word and come back. It's fine. You'll just have to repeat the word. Uh, okay, thunder and so on and so forth. So basically, um, 
yeah, I'm going to, you know, I would continue until I enter all 24 words. And once I'm done, my recovery phrase will be seeded into my Nano S Plus device and my Nano S Plus device will be ready to go. Now, what happens if you get a error? Okay, if one of the words doesn't, uh, like the, the, ledger, uh, the Legend Nano S device doesn't accept one of your words. Well, it might be because the word is not correctly spelled. So in this case, what I would suggest is you go online on Google, you type PIP, so, sorry, BIP39 word list. Okay. Now you'll have to look at the GitHub. So what you're looking for is the GitHub list here. And boom, here you go. Here's the list of all the different words that can ever compose a recovery phrase. So if one of the words on my recovery sheet triggers an error in the Nano S, uh, let, uh, Nano S Plus device, it may be because one of the words is not correctly spelled. So I want to check the spelling against this list. Okay. Uh, just also pay attention that you are following the order correctly. So it's one to 12 and then 12 to 24 organized in two columns. Okay. Not immediately left to right, if that makes sense. Um, and so once I'm done here, basically the recovery phrase will be copied into my Nano S Plus and I'm good to go. And by that, I mean that I can immediately use my Nano S Plus device to spend from my accounts because by seeding my recovery phrase into my Nano S Plus, I basically copied the private keys from my Nano S to my Nano S Plus. And that's it. That's the only thing you have to do. You don't have to create new accounts. You don't have to send your funds from one account to the next. You just basically copy your recovery phrase from one device to the other that copies the private keys that clone the private keys from your Nano S to your Nano S Plus. And that's basically it. That's the only thing you have to do, really. Um, what about your Nano S Plus now? Okay, so you have the option to reset the device, which will wipe the recovery phrase from the device and just return it to factory settings. That's an option you can have. So you would do, you would go into settings, security, and then reset device. Okay, and then it will ask you to confirm with your uh, pin later, okay, reset the device. Personally, I'm not going to do this because I want to keep my Nano S as a backup to my Nano S Plus. So if anything happens to my Nano S Plus, I want to be able to access my Nano S and this way I'll be able to access my account. So I think it's a good way to, um, yeah, use an old uh, Ledger device just as a backup, just in case, okay? But it's only a good backup if the pin on this device is also very strong, okay? If it's uh, if it's an easy to guess pin, then having a backup can actually be a liability and a risk. So my opinion, make sure you've got eight digits uh, pin codes on both devices, keep the old one as a backup, just in case the Nano S Plus would, you know, get lost or um, whatever, something happens to it. Um, and now you've got two devices that can span from your accounts instead of just one. So it's good. Um, it's a good idea to have a backup device in general. And that's pretty much it guys. So I hope this was useful. And if you have any questions, you can reach out to us via the help center page on our website, or you can reach out to us on Twitter directly. And we are at ledger underscore support, uh, on Twitter. So guys, that was a pleasure. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate and have a good day. Cheers.